Now, Aston Martin are looking forward to establishing themselves as one of the strongest teams on the grid in the foreseeable future, and the first step has been made when it comes to strengthening themselves from the inside. After hiring a bunch of experienced, high-profile engineers from their fiercest rivals, Aston Martin are now actively running for the signature of Adrian Newey, which would inevitably have an effect on where Verstappen ends from 2025 onwards. With this in mind, could Aston Martin become a serious championship contender in the foreseeable future? And more importantly, how can they pull this off? Aston Martin have made an extraordinary move when it comes to pursuing high-profile members from other teams, and this time they've shown that there are no limits to where they're planning to go in order to compete with the rest of the grid. Adrian Newey is the latest engineer that's been made an exclusive offer from Aston Martin, one that many engineers would find too hard to resist, as the Brit mastermind was given a blank check in order to write his desired salary just so that he could join them from 2025 onwards. It's safe to assume that the British team is looking forward to strengthening their position after signing the engine supplier deal with Honda, and furthermore, they want to have as many engineers to have worked with the Japanese manufacturer as possible, even though the knowledge of Nui is quite extensive and goes well beyond the collaboration with Honda. Regardless, the 2026 regulations are massively focused on the engine, and Honda did prove to be up there with the greatest teams on the grid. So, Aston Martin is riding heavily on this horse, which is further bolstered by the brand new financial investment they made with the wind tunnel, slowly but surely becoming more and more independent from Mercedes. Yes, the situation isn't the greatest right now, and from where they started the 2023 season to where they are now, one could help but note that the green team is in slow decline. However, that itself is not a factor that would distract Newey from signing a contract and turning the ship around in Aston Martin. The deal was reportedly made during the Jeddah GP, where Lawrence Stroll had talked about selling a controlling stake to one of F1's biggest global partners, Aramco. So it's obvious that if Aramco joins the sport as a team owner, money is the last thing that will stand in their way when it comes to hiring experienced personnel in the team. And with Newey potentially gone from Red Bull, it's evident that a large contingent of engineers would love to leave with him and continue the collaboration under his command, which would then again open up a huge hole in Red Bull's department. As Pierre Wachet said, even though it's him and Newey who are giving the majority of the commands, the team's success is purely based on the entire organization working as one, and that's one of the reasons why Newey might consider moving his talents elsewhere, to prove that he is the architect behind the success in Red Bull, and had it not been for him, the Austrian squad would have been nowhere near where they are right now. A prime example for that can be seen in Aston Martin's move, one they made a couple of years back when they hired the former chief of aerodynamics from Red Bull, Dan Fallows, and gave him the technical director role in Aston Martin. But when it came to bringing his own upgrades, literally designed and led by what he knew in Red Bull, it became evident that there is a lot more that he could have learned from Red Bull as well. But the momentum is definitely not on the Austrian team side right now, with Verstappen's chief mechanic departing the team after being part of it for 18 years. Lee Stevenson has left the Austrian squad, and it seems like the internal struggle for power, one that Horner has exited as the winner, even though he had the losing odds stacked against him, will continue to tear up the team from the inside as well. And Newey could be the latest one to decide that enough is enough, and it's time for a new environment. Although he was not directly involved and in what happened between Horner and the team, Newey has constantly stressed how important it is to work in a team that does not struggle with issues outside of the racing nature. And that's exactly what's going on with Red Bull right now. Yes, Adrian did say that he would remain in Red Bull, regardless of how the situation with Horner ended up. But then again, his name was brought up in the rumor mill months after this denial was made from Newey's side, which then again shows that nothing can surprise us anymore in the F1 world. The current era is at its peak. The budget cap rules as well as the zero to no room for changing things are shaping up to close the grid and make it even more compacted, which could give us interesting fights in 2024 and 2025. If we are to take Verstappen out of the equation, which is impossible to do given his talent and the fact that he drives outside of this world, then you could conclude that the regulations in combination with the budget cap work extremely well, which is why Red Bull are afraid that if Verstappen gets out of the team, it would inevitably mean that they've entered a process of downfall and reconstruction. This was further proven in Melbourne because even though Perez's floor was damaged from Alonso's visor, we know that in the final stages of this run, 
that Fernando Alonso will not have the speed of Perez. In fact, Alonso finishing 40 seconds behind the leading Ferrari drivers, while Verstappen was able to keep up the step with a failed break for one full lap, goes to show that maybe he does not have it in himself to be the driver that Red Bull think he is. And therefore, his departure is also a huge question mark that lures over the Austrian team's heads. Amid all of the struggles that Red Bull has gone through, the environment is definitely not the perfect one for Verstappen and his father, something that Jos was not afraid to say out loud in public when talking about the current situation in the Austrian team. According to the three-time world champion's father, until Hornet remains in charge in Red Bull, his son and helmet Marco will not be comfortable remaining with the team, and that inevitably means that they'll be looking for a solution elsewhere, considering the fact that Horner's position in the team has been strengthened and he'll be likely taking a lot bigger role than he is right now after he received the unquestionable support from the tie back side. Be that as it may, the situation is very interesting, and it has the potential to change the entire landscape of the sport. But what kind of value will Newey bring to Aston Martin if he joins the team, considering the fact that a huge factor will be added to the engine and not the downforce? In fact, the cars will see a huge drop in downforce and reducing of weight, as well as becoming narrower to promote closer racing. We're not taking away any credit from the mastermind himself, we're merely pointing toward the fact that he'll be using his ideas and creativity in a period in which they might not receive nearly as much credit as they did during the 2022 regulation era with Red Bull. So this could just be a bait from the Silverstone-based squad to catch the bigger fish, which is Verstappen. Now, even though the Dutchman has been loud and clear when talking about his future, until Horner remains in charge with the Austrian squad, anything can happen. And that's been emphasized by Toto Wolff as well. This opens up yet another issue for Red Bull. They're poised to struggle a lot if Verstappen leaves from 2025 onwards, because as Pat Simmons, the chief technical officer of the sport said, 2026 regulations would be more about the talent of the driver rather than the capability of the car. Another huge question that Aston Martin needs to answer, not only to the F1 world, but to themselves, is how they will treat Lance Stroll, who's inevitably feeling non-threatened by the entire movement revolving around his team, because it's still his father who owns the team. But if he sells a huge controlling stake in the team, then it's inevitable that he would have to up his game in order not to be replaced, which might be a conflict point in the relationship between Lawrence and Aramco if it's to happen at a certain point down the pipeline. As of now, the primary focus is on Verstappen and Newey, and the environment in which they would enter is much more suitable for them than the current one in Red Bull, speaking from the management and ownership side. So with this in mind, do you think that Aston Martin will emerge victorious in their tries? And more importantly, where do you think they will stand if they pull off this miraculous move? Let us know in the comments down below.